My name is Preswav Nakov. I'm a professor and acting deputy department chair in the Nature Language Processing. The big problem of fake news is not that for the first time in the history of humanity news was false, it's because news got weaponized. Manual fact-checking is a problem because it doesn't scale. Major fact-checking organizations have the capacity of checking one or two claims per day, and there are many more claims that need to be checked on a daily basis. There was a study that shows that 50% of the lifetime spread of some very viral fake news happens in the first 10 minutes, which means that if it's going to reach 200 million people, the first 100 million are going to be reached in the first 10 minutes. This means that you need to act fast. My name is Mohammed Jalal Arisi, the Director General of Emirates News Agency. We signed a memorandum of understanding between us and University of Mohammed bin Zayed for AI to start working and clarifying for the media industry how it's important to have AI on their side and how to take advantage of AI. Because when you distinguish the fake news from the truth, you can know how to get the real stories. I think within five to 10 years from now, the media landscape will be different than that what we have right now. With the partnership that we'll have with the technology, we can change a lot of things. We can change the way that we reach to the audience the way that we reach to our news, the way that we develop our content. Automatic fact-checking has been proposed as a possible solution. Another part is us. So we need to invest in media literacy, we need to invest in educating users. And this is an example in Finland. The government there started a massive media literacy program back in 2014, and five years later announced that they have largely put the fake news under control. The way that we are working for potential fake news, for potential malicious content is through the way that you are talking, not only what you say, not only whether it's factual or not, but through the specific use of propaganda techniques. If you are to affect people, you have to use specific techniques, and there is no way around it. And this is exactly where we are also striking. Fake news is often compared to spam, and spam was a huge problem some 15, 20 years ago, but we managed to put it under control using a technological solution. I'm confident we can do the same with the fake news.